So Now Playlist is a festival of experimental game design and playful art. It's at Somerset House, uh, running from April 1 to 9, so nine days. Some of the highlights of the exhibition this year, one whole room dedicated to Angela Washko's work, showing two really different games. One of them is about childcare and the pandemic, and the other one is about a kind of dark world of pickup artists and really sexually manipulative communication. Another highlight is the new AI piece from Tomoki Hara and uh, Playful from Japan. So what I have behind me is our game called The Deviation Game. So The Deviation Game, in the most simplest terms, is essentially a drawing game where humans must be able to draw things in a way that only humans can understand, but the AI can't. Simply put, it's like Pictionary, but one of the people guessing is actually an AI. So in each game, there's going to be one drawer who's going to be drawing for the other people who are the guessers. So people need to draw things in a sort of more abstract way that only humans can understand it, but it will trick the AI. For example, if you need to draw a cat in this game, if you draw the simple, typical silhouette of a cat, the AI is going to guess it and the humans are going to lose. We're seeing a lot of different emotions from this. I think, like overall, definitely positive, but we're seeing people being very like competitive of wanting to sort of defeat the AI. A lot of like, you know, um, a, a, an emotional roller coaster of people think that they won, and then suddenly the AI guesses it, and they're like, ah, oh, no. I would say it's a, maybe about a 70-30 split AI winning most of the time. I would say. So this is a great festival for people who are interested in kind of the fringes of game design, I would say, who are maybe bored with the mainstream games industry has to offer. But at the same time, it's also really great for families that just want to come and have an interesting experience, uh, you know, on a weekend. 